She's won awards for her lighting on such shows as Melancholy Play, and now she turns her attention to silence. Sarah Rash. Oh boy. Okay, so you work with lights, uh -huh. and so what do you think? What do you think of the setup here? It's nice. It's good. <laughs> I feel very well lit. Okay. <laughs> well, I for a lot of people, what lighting means is sort of a... They don't understand it. They're like, well, you know, it's... You make yeah. you turn the lights and then you make yeah. people bright. So what do you, what exactly do you do? It's yeah, it's a lot more than just that. Um, first off, you get from the set designer uh, a layout of where all of their things are going, and you figure out where your areas are where you want your light to be focused, and then you have to do what's called angle studies, which is where you take the angle of the light and make sure that it is going to hit that area and it's going to fill that area the way you want it to, and then you have to plot out all your lights on your light plot and make sure all the angles and things work and I mean it all sounds really complicated and I've never touched lights before mm -hmm. so like I don't I mean, you brought a light plot with I you did right my light plot. Do you wanna I would love to show you that hold that up and we'll do a nice little show of that. Yeah that doesn't that doesn't really mean anything to me so you can do you can do okay. Thanks, so Dennis is had a lot of really dark plays in the past, mm -hmm. but I don't think that reflects on the lighting necessarily. Did you, did you use a lot of brightness <laughs> comparatively to the subject matter? I mean, for silence? Yeah. I mean, I have like a hundred lights, so I mean, that's gonna get pretty bright. Is that, is that, how many does a not bright show have, would you say? I don't know. It, de it, it depends on the show. It depends on the show and the designer. Now, do you like working in the studio more than the proscenium, or not necessarily? Or? Um, I think working in the studio is interesting because you can put it in different um, setups, and that affects lighting a lot. Because, for instance, silence is in the round, but it's actually round round. Um, so that presents a new challenge for me. Um, yeah, because we've heard from the scenic designer that it's all very the center is the mm -hmm. focus and it goes out in all directions. Sort yep. of. It's a very small space and then there's the projection screen which I have to make sure my lights don't hit so the projections can be seen easily. So this set is a challenge but I think it was a really good challenge and I've enjoyed working on it. Now we heard that you've won awards in the past. Are you are you hoping that this one's another one for you? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I mean would you say you're the best lighting person? None of them are gonna hear this. So. I, don't, <laughs> I don't think I'm the best lighting person now. <laughs> We're talking in the world, though, so... In the world? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? I don't think so. <laughs> do you have any other upcoming projects or anything that you're working on that you'd like to do a special plug for? Um, I'm currently designing line and streets for theatrics, so I think that'll be cool. It's also in the round, so I get to do two shows in the round this semester, so... Are you worried at all about plagiarizing yourself? I don't think so, because they're two very different shows, so... Now, when you originally came to UNL, because mm -hmm. you are an undergraduate, we have talked to all levels of people today. Mm -hmm. Did you know that you wanted to be a lighting person? I did. I came in knowing that I wanted to do technical theater and be a lighting design emphasis, so yep, I've done all along. So for all those people out there who are wanting to do that, what, what would be your biggest advice? Um, piece of advice. Piece of advice. I would just tell them to... Like, keep pursuing it and, like, don't give up on your dreams if that's something you want to do. I mean, like, last question is ladders, heavy things, heat. How do you how do you deal with that? I can't really deal with that. I mean, you just get used to it, I guess. Climbing up ladders all the time. I know, but ladders never get less scary. Genies are a little scarier, though. But then you're protected from all four sides. Well, anyway, okay, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> We'll be interviewing more people from the show in the upcoming weeks. Now remember, Silence runs the 10th through the 13th of October and the 15th through the 20th. So make sure to buy your tickets now.